Hey YouTube, it's Earl, and it's time for a first impression video. And so tonight we're going to be taking a look at this classic blend, Bingo Slices. Let's get to it. Bingle slices. It is, from what I remember, um, of my not because I, I have not been around, was not around when Bingle slices was originally uh, kind of what you might consider a classic uh, pipe tobacco. Um, and if memory serves me correct, that it may have been um, that this was made by Sobrani. I don't know. Uh, some of you old-timers leave some comments because this really is a first impression. I haven't researched the blend other than I know at about the time that um, uh, that Balkan Sobrani was a kind of a, a prominent blend that also Bingle Slices was a prominent blend. And um, so maybe I've just gotten confused about uh, that. Maybe it was just the same time period. But Anyway, uh, it is a um, it is a blend that has long been celebrated. I know it was out of production for a long time, and if I remember again my history correctly, that this has been brought back by Russ Willett um, and the guys at um, uh, PipesandCigars.com. Uh, that you know they formed a company that was bringing back a lot of old blends. And I think that's where Bingle Slices uh, came from. I think they had for a while, uh, like, Fusilier Rations, um, which kind of was, they were, it was Russ Willett's recreation of Bingle Slices. I think now that they actually found some of the old recipes and are trying to recreate it, of course, it's not going to be the same and can't be the same because things are very different. Um, I know it's made with Cyprian Latakia. I don't know if the original was or not. The original was probably made with Syrian Latakia. Um, anyway, uh, that's what I know about this blend uh, right now. So let me crack this puppy up and let's talk through my first impressions. Puppy doesn't want to open. There we go. Okay, now this tin has been passed on along to me from one of our viewers, Takeo Kimura. And um, it's open. It's a, uh, you can see from the presentation, it's kind of got a nice little, I don't know, paper here. Got this little plastic disc here, or not plastic, just kind of wax paper disc here, uh, which makes me think maybe this is kind of done by uh, Sutliff, which would fit. Uh, I think it would fit. But anyway, there, I want to say that Sutliff's packaging has these types of inserts there. So let me let me put my nose in. Actually I'm trying to put it in my nose in. Let me show you what it, what it is. You open it up and you unfold it and I don't know if that's focused or not. But you get these nice thick um, slices of tobacco. So Interesting, interesting. Okay, let me, um, I'm going to crumble up one of these or rub one of these out and I'll get right back to you. So, hold your horses. Okay, so uh, good news, moisture content as a 10 uh, seems to be just about absolutely perfect um, for the tobacco. So I was able to rub it out and um, 
and pack my pipe very, very easily. Um, but let me let me go back to a couple of things before we dive further into this blend. It is a classic blend, but let me give you a, a description of it. So it says uh, on the back, a crumble cake made of Cyprian Latakia, outstanding Oriental, bright Virginia, and a touch of black Cavendish finished with a subtle top note. And that subtle top note seems to be like a um, anise or some some form thereof, um, licorice type type smell. And it's actually it's stronger the further you are away from it. As I put my nose in here, it's subtle when my nose is here in the tobacco because the Cyprian Latakia is so bold and prominent. But um, when I'm not, and I'm further away, I smell more licorice than I smell anything. Um, there's kind of that distinct uh, mustiness that I, I would say is probably the oriental tobacco. Um, it's it's kind of got these flavors, that mustiness that I'm talking about, or kind of this, this just deep, rich, kind of fermented flavor um, to me smells like um, over ripened bananas to a certain extent like what you do with bananas before you make them into banana bread it's got this kind of sweet fermented um, <clears throat> aroma to it that is just wonderful so with that let me uh, dive in tonight I'm gonna be smoking this it's probably not picking it up hide my face but I'm smoking this out of a Savinelli 315, a Prince shape, and it is a Christmas, I think 2018 version of that. And, uh, you know, we're starting to get in the Christmas spirit here. So, let me light this up. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hmm. Okay, that was my best Bradley impersonation. Well, it seems to have taken the flame very easily. Very smooth. As dark as those crumble flakes were, And there's much Latakia that seemed to be present in the tin note. It's really taking a back seat here. This is very unique. That top note seems to add a lot. It's there, like I can I can smell that slight licorice aroma.
and it's in the smoke itself. I mean, it's really, really has a good sweetness to it. You know what I think it is? I think it's a black Cavendish. Right now, I think that's playing the predominant role. Um, and I like that. Might kind of remind me of because uh, right now essentially what I'm getting is a mainly Cavendish blend so you know if you've if you've ever tried just a straight black Cavendish and I'm not talking about one that's overly flavored but um, just kind of straight black Cavendish I'm getting a lot of that mixed with some of the kind of earthiness woodiness of the Latakia the tin note, that little topping is there and kind of, I think, carried on that black Cavendish. Um, I'm not getting anything that's distinctly oriental. Other than I will say that I think there is a little bit of mustiness. Oriental Funk. I don't know how to describe it. And if you're looking for the name of a band, Oriental Funk might be it. I guess it could be the other name for COVID, the Oriental Funk. <laughs> well, this is an outstanding blend so far. Let me smoke some more of it and let you know if it changes. Okay, guys. Again, I'm probably a third of the way down the bowl. And my biggest takeaway is how just smooth, even this is. The Latakia playing in the background. I'm really surprised at how mild the Latakia is in this. What a good blend. Well gang, I'm most of the way through this bowl and my first impression is good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think there's enough complexity there. The Latakia does not overwhelm, in my opinion. <clears throat> it's a it's good blend. Sw sweet, hints of note, uh, mm -hmm. notes of leather, a little earthiness, a little spiciness. Overall, a very good blend. And I look forward to trying some more of this and seeing how it evolves. Because that tin has been open a little bit. Again, this is mineral. My heart's impression of mingle slices. Y'all have a good evening. <laughs>